Hello everybody, Bench85 here. As I get into recording a little bit more, I thought maybe we should play some other games here. So, first up, an old favorite, if you will, for a lot of people. I have not played it much. I put about, I don't know, half an hour into a game, like a world a little while ago. That was like a month or two ago. Thought it was cool, thought it was neat, but that was about the time Ark hit, and so I was like, no, nah, I'm going to play Ark. So I've created this character, yes, I've only done about three minutes just to make sure everything is working. So this is that world, so I really haven't done anything in this world. And I don't know if we're going to continue this series or how I'm going to do this, but I just thought it might be kind of fun to play around with Terraria. Now Terraria is definitely an interesting game. Um, I've watched a lot of it. All I know is that, well, let me see here. Nope. I'm gonna get up. There we go. Should probably fix that so it's better. Ooh, there's a slime. Did he shoot something at me? Got him. So there's little NPCs and stuff in here and there's a whole a whole world if you will here um, you have different tools here you start out with with uh, different some very basic tools basically as far as I know I'm probably gonna want to grab some wood oh I thought that was gonna be for this tree here there we go not too shabby let's grab this tree too quick and of course, the basic tools are well, very basic. Now, I know night is rough. Right, squirrel. I think we're going to want to grab some of this dirt here. And yes, I'm using a pick. There is no such thing as a shovel like there would be in, uh, in Minecraft. Your pick does most of your stuff. I also realize there's actually two layers, if you will, kind of. There's a, a foreground and a background. I don't know, it's just kind of an e interesting proposition. But you can... Let me see. Okay, it's left click. I see. I should be able to get over that one now. And we probably should kill the slime with this. No, come back here. So you get money. I'll open up my inventory. 25 range damage. Oh, interesting. So you get money. You have an inventory, if you will. You have the crafting station. Oh. So that the workbench will help for us here. Wood platform, and we got torches are probably going to be important. Oh, that's all the gel I have. Uh, we'll use that for later on. We've also got, you know, armor slots here, accessories, social accessories. Holy crap, there's a lot of things here. Got our map. Different ways to have the map. We got 100 health. We got mana, which we're not using right now. Basically, there's a whole lot to this game. And it gets to be really crazy. And we've got another slime. Ow. Okay, don't run into him. Just stab him. Stab him. Ow, don't run into him. There we go. Now we got two more gel. Uh, apparently my head's in the way. Or maybe it has something to do with... Hey! With how that was working? I'm not sure. There we go. That's all I wanted to do. Uh, apparently we don't have a whole lot of dirt left. In fact, that's all the dirt we have left. Well, that's not good. 
Try to steal some from here, quick. Oh. So you got a certain amount of range in here. Another slime. Ooh, there's some jars, there's some ores and stuff here, which are probably pretty important. Oh. Now we're going to want to be able to climb up there. There we go. And of course, ooh. No, back off. Ow. Oh. I don't like you guys. Hey, stop it. Ow. Okay, we're getting our butts kicked at the moment. <laughs> Um, so we're probably going to want to set up some sort of a, ooh, mushroom. What does a mushroom do? Ooh, restores health. Nice. Yeah, we're going to want to set up some sort of a, oh, yeah, it's almost night time. Nighttime is not a good time to be playing around out here. So we should probably grab some more wood here. Just so we have some on us. I just feel that would be important. And we should probably set up a building quick. Or some sort of home. We got trouble coming. Oh, come on. I should have been able to take him out. Um, I'm wondering about doing it right in here. Or, like, right... Setting something up on this little island here. So I'm not sure how well they can jump up to here. So maybe for now... I just want to create... Oh, I bet you it's the tree. I figured wood would be a good thing to make the starter house out of. And I think we'll grab this tree as well. Yeah, look at it get dark. So I, I feel kind of safe in here. Um, this is definitely going to bother me, so we should probably just dig this out quick. Good news is we appear to be safe at the moment. Hey, no. Uh, we should probably put some torches in here too. Just for temporary purposes. Alright, so we have a little bit of a home here. There. Now I feel a little bit better. Uh, we should probably throw down our crafting table. And what this is allow us going to do, if you notice, we all of a sudden got a whole bunch of things. Campfire, we have wood platforms, tiki torches, we can put doors, chairs, all that good stuff. We can also get some wood armor, which might be beneficial. Seven damage on a wooden sword, whereas this does five melee damage. <sighs> and of course, we got a zombie. Start to fun things that come out at night. So they can't get to us. So we can basically sit out the night here and see what else we can get here. What is this? Copper coins. 
Oh, copper that makes a silver. Oh, we got a silver coin. Nice. Oh, I see. We can craft the copper coins from the silver coin. Ah, that makes sense. Now, hammer, as far as I understand, is a way to remove uh, the, the back here, basically. Now, I'm not so sure I want to craft too much with that. What is this? Fishing pole. So I think it would be beneficial if we actually put on a little bit of armor. And apparently we don't have enough for greaves or anything like that. I actually want to craft two doors here. I want to hit escape there. Whoops. Uh, I think that torch is actually going to be in the way. See, I think I can put them on the outside too, right? Well, that wasn't exactly where I wanted to put it, but it works. Um, is he going to drop off the edge here? There, now we got a door. I want to do the same thing on this side too. Wait, are you destroying my door? You're not allowed to destroy my door. Alright. So, we're safe for the moment, right? I think so. So we're probably not going to be able to do anything until morning. He's got a Christmas hat on. I know they do a lot of theme type stuff, so... Morning is a little ways out. So I'm probably going to sit in here, where I'm safe, and uh, wait until morning comes. Clear out what we have to clear out here, and we're probably going to have to go mining. Because we're going to need to get some more copper stuff, and probably get some stone and things like that. But we've got a little bit of a starter shack here, if you will. And uh, I suppose to make it even, should put another one there. Nice. Actually, I want to get this tree. Oh, I can actually jump up on top there. Nice. I want to see if I can craft the greaves now or is there no such thing as yeah wood greaves there we go hey matching attire clip armor in all three slots nice so we got the first four mm, very cool another zombie so I will meet you guys when morning comes. Alright guys, so morning has arrived. I've got some interesting things. I got Fallen Star, which apparently disappears here after sunrise. I haven't seen that before. I got a present, which right click to open. Candy cane blocks. Um, candy cane walls. Interesting. Gotten a decent amount of money here, which I'm pleased about. And that's about it. Okay, no slimes allowed in my house. That's what I have to say. So I think what we're going to have to do is start mining. We'll grab some of this copper stuff. I just got some health, I think. Let me get some iron ore, too. In the beginning, there's a lot of slow stuff here as we try and get the items we need to try and advance. 
we start out very basic. I think we're gonna need some uh, stone here. Mostly because at some point, um, well, we're gonna need to go up to the next tier, which is gonna require a furnace. What is this stuff, by the way? The fact that I'm getting copper and iron and stuff like that uh, signifies that I have the newer, or not, I shouldn't say newer, I've got the older world stuff. Um, okay, this, there we go, appears to be really hard to, uh, to pillar up. can use all the copper I can get though. This copper is going to be your first tier stuff. I would like a better sword. I believe the stone you use to make a furnace, at least that's what would make sense to me. Um, so that you can actually smelt this up into... Uh, I believe it's bars it's considered. Like I said, this is a new game for me, so we're kind of learning as we go. Like I said, it depends on whether or not, I mean, if you'd want to see me continue this or not. I have a feeling it's not going to be a very good playthrough. I mean, it's not going to be like, you should do this to be awesome and stuff like that, because it's basically going to be, uh, don't do this because, well, don't. Don't pull a Benji, basically. Oh, apparently you can't... Oh, there we go. You can't mine below you, dirt block. Some more stone over here. I wonder if there's anything extra I can craft right now. Ooh. Crafted out of rope. Oh, I got a bunch of rope from uh, one of those jars, I think. This is going to bother me, so... And actually, we might just do this. Well, not that. But like that. So, can I craft up... Stone wall... Ooh, apparently I can craft up arrows. I don't have a bow. So maybe... Maybe we need to grab these trees too. Maybe we're short on wood. I don't know. I have not looked at recipes. I don't have the wiki open at all. I'm just kind of playing it as is. Kind of crash coursing it if you will. Like I said, I, I know the basics of how things work. Hey. What's this thing right here? Nothing? Hey, that was uncalled for. Come on. Gotcha. Hey, buddy. So what is this way right now? Besides a little bit of water. Where's a bunny? Interesting little cave there. There we go. I'm gonna grab these trees too. Ooh, there's more copper down in there. Not complain about copper. So something interesting. You notice how there's water up above there? I've noticed the liquid properties of this game are very interesting. If I dig into the bottom here, so you notice the water level actually dropped. Water is finite. Well, all liquids are finite and they move around like that.
No. Okay, I'm getting better at the combat. Okay, so let's see if we can craft... Ooh, we can craft more stuff now. Right there's a workbench. There it is. So we need torches and we did need wood and stones. So let's craft that. So here's the cool part now. Look at this. We can craft copper bars. We can craft iron bars. So we got five iron bars now. Oh. Well, that's just enough to get us an anvil. Anvil allows us to make stuff out of... Oh, well, I guess I didn't really want a bow, so... No, actually, we're going to do this. We got a hasty one, 10 speed plus velocity. Eh, we might use it. Why not? Okay, so we got 10 copper bars. So we got the sword. I think I want the copper broadsword. I'm actually going to toss that one. So the last thing you tried to void actually goes there. Well, that's cool. So we're going to need more copper. But now, yes, that's what I wanted. We get better range out of this guy. Oh. Well, apparently you can't attack down, but you can attack up. I see. So we're going to need more copper. Ooh. There we go. See? The arc across the top. That's the sword I wanted. So you can't really jump as well in the underwater, it seems. So let's see if we can go about... And we should, probably should be placing more torches as we go here. Uh, simply because it'll light things up and it'll stop things from spawning as much, I think. I think it does work that way. So let's see if we can grab a bunch of this copper. I think at some point we can actually make uh, copper iron or copper um, armor it would be the next thing we would probably want to do. Now there is so much to this world. Uh, as far as I know, um, there's so much down below, there's so much above, like there's, there's a lot to this game. So I think we could have a lot of fun with it as we learn as we go here. That isn't exactly what I wanted to do here, but, oh, that was interesting. Yeah, this is the, the interesting way to mine. <laughs> we just jump around. Yeah, we ain't gonna make that jump. Oh, that'll work. Maybe. How about now? Oh, there we go. See, we're figuring this out. There's some surface copper. So I kind of want to just explore and kind of see what's on the surface here. So we get an idea of what's in our world. Sunflowers, I think, are good for something. There's some more copper copper. Um, I think we might be better off making a bridge over so we don't fall down in there and then end up drowning. Oh, 
Oh, we got a bunch of slimes in the, on the way. So let's keep going. Let's see what we can see here. What is it? Must have been. I don't know what that was. Ooh. What is this? Ooh, more iron. Very cool. So, this is... Ooh. Oh, you know what? Oh, we're actually getting into a snow biome. But where is the sun? The sun, I think, is about to go down. So I think we need to head back home. No. So apparently you have to aim it. Ooh, I just got a giant bow? Is that what that said? I don't know, but we need to get back home. I think we process this, uh, the metals and stuff. See if we can make anything new and awesome. Oh. We gotta time it based on their jumps apparently. You know, we should, probably should be grabbing some of these mushrooms just because they have the healing properties. Did I kill that one slime in one hit? That seems odd. Yeah, we should probably be lighting this as we go. At least it would make me feel better if it's lit up. I do like the music. Hey! a giant bow again. Oh, we should probably light this too. So, I don't know how much it'll actually do to help us out. Something about, oh, these bows. We're just going to delete those. I have no need for them. So we got 36 more copper ore, 13 iron ore. Come on. Okay, so we got four more pieces of iron. We can get a bucket. This an iron door. Probably so that zombies can't knock it down or something. I'm assuming they can do that. We got a copper bow, which is better yet. See, we have a copper pickaxe, so that's not gonna really bother. They're not gonna do much good for us. Ooh, there's the eyes. Demon eyes? Yep. I suppose for the moment here we should take care of this guy. To build a wall so they can't get in. Hey, you. Those demon eyes suck, too. I don't know. Can they actually break it down? or I'm not sure how that works. Stop it, guys. I am trying to record a video, and you are interrupting me. Okay, let's just leave it at that for now. Minecart tracks. Iron fence. So apparently there's nothing... Like, you can't make copper. Copper. 
gear or something chain can be climbed on. Okay. That was uncalled for, guys. So apparently it's gonna be another night of this. At least for now. And probably gonna need some mining and stuff to go on. So for now, guys, I think I'm gonna wrap up this episode. We'll decide based on what you guys think whether or not I continue it. I'm enjoying the game, I might just play it on my own. We'll see. It's interesting playing a new game. Put it that way. There's a lot of fun things that you learn about new games and stuff like that, so. Hey you. You guys come over here. Their AI isn't too bright sometimes. Yes, you. Ow. Don't be doing that to me. Apparently I can stand on top of the anvil. Cool. Maybe I'll look into the wiki a little bit and kind of see where I'm going. See where you need to take things. Things like that, but... I could probably do for now. Just do that. Now they can't get me. At least from that direction. And I could probably do the same thing over here. There. Something like that. I don't know. Maybe they can jump over it. I don't know. But at least it'll keep me safe for now. So that guys, thanks for watching. And as always, take it easy.